Well, here we are again, but I gotta check how long it's been of a minute because I haven't posted anything in about... Oh. Well, uh... Well, that actually is quite a minute. I know a lot of people have been wondering where I've been at. Uh, just been busy with life stuff, but uh, currently right now, it's a lot calmer now, so I'm actually gonna try to at least make some new videos because Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 uh, apparently revealed some new showcases for Nigel Thornberry and uh, Grandma Gertie. Now, I wasn't really expecting Hey Arnold uh, characters, like some new ones to be in there, but uh, maybe there will be some new ones by the time... Uh, then the game comes out, but I already made a video for uh, a short for the release date and this one right now as we're speaking. So let's get into it. Go. How's it going, everyone? My name is Nick C. Oh my I'm god. Game <laughs> and hey Arnold super fan. I'm here to walk you through all. The she looks great in this, this game. Powerful battle ready black belt. Grandma Gertie. Grandma Gertie. Star Brawl 2. Oh, she got a karate outfit? Arnold's beloved grandmother, Gertrude Shortman, may seem old and frail to the untrained eye, but do not be mistaken. She's fast, she hits hard, and she's oh. completely capable of dealing massive damage with a wacky moveset. Oh my god. Here's some martial arts techniques. The first of such techniques is her neutral special, Calamity Strike. This move is a powerful uppercut. Is she's got like a freaking sure you can hold B right button? To release it. Oh my god. Her side special, Blitz is a quick dash that can intercept your enemy's movements and send them flying. Oh my god. She's got a as knee of justice? Her Did I just see that? Christmas gift is a surprise no for all way. parties involved. When used, she reaches into her purse and pulls out a random object that could be anything, from a fly swatter to a pile of tacks, <laughs> a wrecking ball, or even a piano? Finally, <gasps> what? Gertie's up special is a grappling hook. That grappling hook, of course. Grandma Gertie has all sorts of strange tricks up her sleeve that are worth exploring. Oh my! Being so fast makes it easy to chase your opponents down. Oh my god! Run away, throwing random items until something works out. The oh my is god! To you. There's so many up options. Down throws are a great way to get a combo going or set up tech chase scenarios at low percent. Ooh! Her up air is good for juggling opponents. Grandma Gertie got to be top so tier though. With one of her many powerful finishers. Ooh! Damn! For example, her grounded forward She's no and joke. up attacks are great choices, and they both utilize a massive halberd, which provides a lot of unexpected range. Hopping in the fray, doing some scrapping, and then hopping back out to continue throwing random items is a solid general game plan with Gertie. Do Dude. you think you have what it takes to harness Grandma Gertie's power? There's only one way what to find it. What the f*** is this character? Try, <laughs> the There's so much crazy too. stuff happening with this. More character spotlights, and as always, thank you for watching. I honestly... Okay, they did a lot better with Grandma Gertie than I was anticipating, so credit where credit's due. That was a much different showcase than what I was imagining. Alrighty, so now that we are in the thick of the game, so we're about two months uh, away to until the game officially releases, but uh, Grandma Gertie actually looks really sick, though, in this game. Like the, She is very fast-moving character. Not only that, she is she's got like a bunch of weird special moves that that I honestly think aren't even from other characters that I've seen in Smash Brothers. The only thing that I have seen entirely is her little karate outfit that she has. And honestly seeing Grandma Gertie do the knee of justice, look at it. It's the literally the same exact thing what Captain Falcon does. That is honestly the coolest thing I have seen in a minute, though, in a fighting game, because they're referencing not only a very popular move and a very popular platform fighter, but they are actually doing really well with this, though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this outfit's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be, like, a uh, robber, Grandma Gertie, or, like, something in disguise? Because I, I think I remember her if she was a cop? Because I didn't really watch a whole lot of Hey Arnold, though I wasn't even born in the 90s, but she honestly looks really sick, though. A lot of... It's like Game & Watch's side B, technically, where you can just throw out random attacks until something works. So you can already tell that Grandma Gertie mains and all that are going to be monkey brain mush, bat, button mashing the entire time with the side B, but you get the idea. Alrighty, so the next showcase is Nigel Thornberry. Now, I know Nigel Thornberry was in the first game, 
But now that he's in the second game, we got to see what he's capable of now, because uh, I actually am interested in seeing what he's going to be playing like, so let's get into it. Go. With plenty of fascinating new discoveries to observe and study, Family Man and Wilderness Explorer... Hey, Nigel there he is. ...makes his return to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Nigel has had plenty okay. of time to refine... Okay, got new stages. ...new inspirations in his recent exploration of the Animal Kingdom. Boasting an even broader repertoire of animalistic abilities oh boy. than ever before. After doing some extensive bird watching, Nigel has perfected his avian inspired. <laughs> his animations actually look a lot better. Bird ...and can jump up to four times in the air. And his aerial charge down attack, Falcon Dive, is now. Much so he can float around like Jigglypuff in now. To harness the power of flight, he however, literally is Nigel Jigglypuff. Has the lightest character in the game. But that so is Jigglypuff, he literally is. Confidence. Let's cover Nigel's special moves, beginning with his explosive down special, smashing. Of course. With a simple snap of his fingers. You gotta he have the rest attack right. though too for the game. Very fast and very strong, but also quite small. And you gotta be very careful of how you use it. Actually hits, so don't miss. His side special, Gorilla Double Punch. Oh, that's a side B now. The first it connects for an immediate uppercut follow-up. The first hit on its own can also be a great way to extend or begin. Ooh. Oh my god. Nigel's neutral special, Bull Stampede, sends him right That's a new forward, attack. Ready to flip an opponent into the sky. Ooh. Finally, Nigel's up special. Yeah, he's got that BS2 right Short there. Vertical boost that can hopefully get you back onto the stage in case you've already used your four dumps when trying to recover. Now, let's take a quick peek at each of Nigel's other attacks, beginning with the charge attacks. Oh, here's here we go. Up, horizontal, and down attacks. He's going to be very and deadly in this game. Don't mess with a Next, man who lives in the nature of animals. Neutral air, up air, back air, forward air, and down air. And each grounded attack, including his jab, up light, forward light, and down light. Which applies a poison effect. This so actually is pretty sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Tip of his foot. Do you consider yourself a nature lover? Well, what the hell? That is an elephant. Okay, I just that's weird. Couldn't tell what it was. One thing that I gotta give credit for, or like two things I have to at least give credit for, is that Hungry Box himself actually was uh, voicing over the Spotlight Showcase because he is very inspired by most of the uh, moveset evaluation for uh, Nigel mainly because he's like he plays more like melee Jigglypuff if I'm trying to be more correct and uh, that seems like what they're going with and let's check out these costumes though they got Sergeant Nigel Thornberry it looks like they got regular Thornberry Safari Thornberry and maybe Pilgrim that's Pilgrim uh, Thornberry though so I can actually see that though that actually it's pretty funny that they're referencing most of the older uh, stuff like the movie and and the cartoon back in the 90s then again I wasn't growing up in the 90s back then I was a 2000s baby and uh, Wild Thornberries was something I was aware of but I never really watched as a kid not only that I like the idea of him being a very floaty character because it gives you more opportunity to move around more often as like floating in the air because that's what Jigglypuff is mainly supposed to do when it comes to fighting its opponents so you gotta zone people out and then hit people with some attacks that are very like uh risk and high reward is what I should say but yeah folks uh I guess that's about it for this video it's been long enough but Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 looks absolutely phenomenal still all the characters are looking fun to play, and just everything about it looks really awesome. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.